Hello. Today we're going to provide a brief demonstration of how Sovos's global tax determination engine seamlessly integrates with Oracle NetSuite ERP to provide end-to-end -end tax compliance for our joint customers. Sovos's global tax determination engine integration with NetSuite is built for NetSuite certified and has been since 2016 with the Suite Tax API. So the goal of this demonstration is to really highlight some of the capabilities in a few key areas. First, we'll take a look at some complex sales transactions, highlighting thresholds associated with items, jurisdictional determination based on address, and any fees associated with different types of products and services. Then we'll take a look at the accounts payable side and show how the tax engine can seamlessly provide your tax obligation on purchase orders from both a consumer's use and seller's use standpoint. And finally, we'll take a look at how the Sovos Tax Determination Engine can provide VAT determination within that platform. In our first example, to highlight the accounts receivable capabilities of the tax engine in conjunction with Oracle NetSuite, we'll take a look at a sales order. So in this sales order, I've specified a customer. And then at the bottom here, I've specified a couple of different items that I'm going to sell to that customer and the amounts associated with those items. I'm also defining a ship to address. So in this case, I have both a men's shirt and a mountain bike that I'll be shipping to a location within Boston, Massachusetts. And you can see the tax details associated with that are that the shirt, because it's a clothing item in Massachusetts, is exempt from sales tax. And the mountain bike, because it's a tangible good, is subject to the six and a quarter percent sales tax in Massachusetts. So as I enter this order, the tax engine is receiving this information, is able to evaluate the items in the location and provide back in real time the correct amount of tax on the transaction. Now that may seem like a fairly straightforward example, so let's see what happens when we change the shipping location from Massachusetts to a location in Colorado. So by changing the shipping address now, instead of shipping to Boston, Massachusetts, I'm shipping to a location in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Let's see how that affects the tax details. So by hitting the Preview Tax button, this is what's going to initiate that API call out to the Sovos engine. And we can see here the results look very different. So for one, based on that street level address, the Sovos tax determination engine is able to determine the appropriate taxing jurisdictions that have situs over this transaction. And you can see them listed out here. I have my Colorado state tax, my county tax, city tax, as well as a number of different district level taxes, including a public improvement fee. And those apply to both the shirt and the mountain bike. Uh, and again, the shirt was exempt from tax in Massachusetts. Here, it's taxable at the full rates within the jurisdictions in Colorado. In addition to those differences, you'll also see for the mountain bike, based on this jurisdiction, the mountain bike is also subject to a $4 Colorado Springs bike fee. So the tax determination engine is able to look at the address, determine the appropriate taxing jurisdictions, look at the products and services being sold, determine the appropriate tax treatment, and also apply any additional fees. So in this case, we had a bike fee. The engine also supports fees like paint recovery fee or mattress disposal fee or eco waste fees. So depending on the jurisdiction and the item being sold, the engine will automatically apply the correct tax rates and applicable fees and return them here in detail on the sales order. You'll also see a summary at the top. So that's how the Sovos Tax Engine integrates with sales orders to apply the appropriate tax on sales transactions. So next we'll take a look at the purchasing side. So on the AP side, it's similar to AR and where you have to determine the appropriate tax based on jurisdiction and item that's being purchased. But in addition to that, there's the complexity associated with how you as an organization are actually going to use the item. You may have exemptions for manufacturing. You may have exemptions for research and development. You may have exemptions for resale. So what the Sovos Tax Determination Engine is able to do is store off those exemptions and the locations in which those exemptions apply for you. And as it's evaluating the tax on your purchases, be able to determine if an exemption applies. So we'll show an example of how that works here. 
And in this case, I've got a purchase order, and I'm acting as a manufacturing organization. I manufacture golf carts. So I'm going to purchase tires from Bridgestone. But I'm also going to purchase golf balls. So what the tax engine is able to do is it's able to look at any exemptions that you as an organization may have and also look at the items being purchased to see if they apply for that specific exemption. So in this case, the engine knows that when I buy tires, I'm going to use those for manufacturing my golf carts. But when I go buy golf balls, I'm going to consume those. So in this case, I'm going to purchase these items for use in my California location. And so we'll take a look at how the engine applies tax on this purchase transaction. So the tax engine is able to look at those transactions, look at those line items, and return back the tax treatment here. So based on the location, it knows that state, county, and Bradley Burns County tax apply on these transactions. It also looks at those tires and knows that a tire fee uh, applies on the transactions. But what it does here is it knows that the tires are going to be used in the manufacturing process whereas the golf balls are going to be consumed. And so there's the difference between the standard state rate, which the golf balls are subject to, and the reduced manufacturing rate, which the tires are subject to. So the engine is able to evaluate the transactions, look at the exemptions that you have on file, and appropriately determine tax for the purchase transactions. And finally, we'll take a look at how the NetSuite Suite Tax API and Sovos Global Tax Determination Engine can help solve VAT determination challenges. So the, the Sovos Global Tax Determination Engine is that. It's fully global. It determines VAT uh, across the globe for over 180 countries. And to show an example of that and how the Sovos team keeps up to date with the rules and regulations, we wanted to show an example with India. So in India, India has a GST. Um, and to show an example of how this works, India has split the GST. So if the sale occurs across states, it applies a countrywide GST. If the sale occurs within the state, it applies a country-level GST as well as a state-level GST. Now, they add up to the same total rate, but they just break down differently. So I'll show you an example of this. So in this, in this case, I have standard goods, and I'm shipping to a location in Karnataka. And because I'm also shipping from a location within Karnataka, I see the country-level GST as well as the state-level GST, and they add up to 18% VAT. Now, if I change the shipping address to Delhi, now this is going to be a sale that occurs across states. And when I apply the tax here, you'll see the difference. So in this case, only one level of tax is returned. It's just the country-level GST. Again, it adds up to the 18%. It's the standard 18% VAT for standard goods within India. But the way that it's broken out uh, is as defined by, by India. So this is just an example of how the regulatory team at Sovos keeps up to date with the change in regulations, the ever-changing regulations uh, across the globe, and how that information makes its way into the Sovos Global Tax Determination Engine, and how it can be leveraged as part of the NetSuite Suite Tax API integration with the Sovos Global Tax Determination Engine. As part of our process, we want to make sure that we're solving your specific challenges. So we welcome to, to have a further discussion and to really understand your business processes so that we can show you how the Sovos Global Tax Determination Engine can work for your NetSuite solution.